Hi everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces, and today I want to talk to you about crackle text. So we get a lot of questions on how to create a crackle finish on a painted surface, and we have several really awesome products that do this really quickly and easily. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about today is called Crackle Text. It's from a wonderful company, Artisan Enhancements, which sells some other products that allow you to basically take your paint projects to a whole nother level with enhancing your pieces with things like crackle tax, um, something that makes it look like fine stone. My favorite product by them is Pearl Plaster. That's a really fun, fun product that creates more of like a pearlized effect on something. So let me talk to you about crackle tax. So you can use crackle tax to create a crackle finish. You can also use crackle tax to create a textured finish. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about both of those today. Now. I have already put crackle text on this piece and I didn't paint it everywhere. We first painted a base coat of Greek blue of our wonderful Annie Sloan chalk paint on this entire table. And then what we did was we are going to use crackle text just on like these panels here. So you want to base coat your, your piece first and then you're going to lay your crackle text in between your paint coats. So this is crackle text here and it's kind of um, like a creamy color it's like a little bit thick I would say it's medium thickness and you want to kind of you know the more liberal you are with this the thicker the bigger your cracks are gonna be so I'm just kind of painting this on every which way and you know like I said you can kind of be a little bit liberal with this but you don't want it to be like goopy gloppy you know super super thick either so you want to kind of just get it on there once you get it on there this is going to dry it's going to dry dry to like really like a clear kind of a finish and once it's totally dry then you can go ahead and lay your next coat of paint on top of the crackle text that's already been dry so there's a lot of different ways that you can do this you can if you just want more of a textured finish you can lay the same paint color so you're not really seeing uh, a different color popping through you're just seeing kind of texture with the piece or you can do a completely different color which is what we're going to do and we are using one of our peeps victoria her favorite color is country gray and this table is actually going home with her so we're going to paint it with country gray so like i said on some of these other panels i have already painted the crackle text and it's dried how long does it take to dry it probably it really depends on how thick of a coat that you put on so I'm just going to come around to the other side here and I'm going to work on this panel here and this already has like I said the dried crackle text so when you put your top coat of paint on after you've done your crackle text you kind of want to just like lay it on and let it do its thing. And you do want to do it where your paint is thick enough that the crackle text has something to crackle. So I've put like, you know, not, not a huge amount of paint on my brush, but a little bit on there. And I'm just going to start painting. And I'm just going to kind of get my paint on there on this panel here. And you can even see there, it, it automatically just kind of starts to repel that paint and make it crackle. Now, you can do one of two things with crackle text. You can either just leave it and let it do its thing and crackle on its own, and I'll show you what that looks like. So this piece we base coated in cocoa, we put our crackle text on, and then we let it dry, and then we put duck egg over the top of it. And as the duck egg dried, it crackled to reveal the cocoa underneath it. Now we didn't do anything to this after we actually put the duck egg on. We just let it do its thing. So this is one way that you can use crackle text. Another way you can use crackle text is to create texture. And that's a, a little bit of a different technique. So this is the same products, just different paint colors. So we did a base coat in here of Paris Gray. That dried, we painted on our layer of crackle text 
and you know pretend that you don't see these letters here because that throws a whole nother thing into the mix um we actually used a transfer gel to do that first which is really kind of cool and i will be doing a video on that very soon um and then we laid our paris gray we laid our crackle text and then our final coat was old white now as the old white started to dry we will take a paper towel and we will kind of like crumple it up into like a little ball and we'll go into this and we'll kind of just pull this away and then as these chunks kind of come off then you get like it really looks like it's kind of old world so now let's zoom in we've given our piece like about a minute so i don't know if you can see here you can kind of start to see some of the paint is starting to crackle and like i said if we want it to just look like a crackle piece then i could just leave it be and eventually we'll end up looking like this but i want to show you how to create a little bit of texture so now what i'm going to do this is still wet while it's drying i'm going to take my rag that's crumpled up and i'm just going to kind of go in here and start twisting and moving this around and do you see how that paint is kind of separating there and it's kind of taking off chunks and we're gonna let it be a little bit textured and I'm just turning this in a twisting motion this paint over here is a little bit more wet so you can see that chunk kind of came off nice and this is really like oh how do you do it how do you know you just kind of have fun with it just play with it um, until you see enough texture and what you want then that's when you stop when you love the way it looks and sometimes you have to kind of take a step back and maybe walk away from the piece before you're actually going to love it. So now the other thing that you can do with this is you, let's say you do this and then you want to layer another color on top of it. You could definitely do that. You could put more crackle text on and do several layers of a crackled kind of a finish. That's really fun too. Really the sky is the limit. So let me talk to you a little bit about um when crackle text won't work we've had this happen a few times and this is why so when you're putting on your base coat of paint if you're laying your paint on something that's say raw like a raw wood um your paint is going to kind of absorb into that especially when you're using chalk paint when you put your crackle text on top of it that's going to absorb into the wood too and then when you put your top coat of paint on, there really isn't anything to crackle because that crackle text is really absorbed in. So if you're working with raw wood, you have to make sure that you either seal it with something or you know put a couple coats of paint on it or be really liberal with your crackle text um, because it won't work. So you can see here, this has created all kinds of really fun texture. And what we're actually gonna do with this piece is we're gonna paint the whole thing with the country gray. So let me just give you like a little sneak peek here. Like we, we're gonna paint this whole entire door with country gray, but we're just gonna allow these panels here to stay kind of crackly. That just kind of brings in an extra layer of dimension with the piece. And I'm pretty sure we did these top panels here. So these will probably start to crackle as well. And I'm just gonna kind of get my brush in there. This is more of like a textured, old world kind of a look, so I'm okay if it's looking like some of the blue is peeking through. I'm pretty sure that we did crackle text down here along this edge as well. So you'll see, it, it will start to crackle in about 30 seconds or so. Now here's the other thing that you want to make sure that you don't do when you're working with crackle text. So when you put that, that uh, final layer of paint on your piece after you've done crackle text, in this case it's the country gray that I'm talking about, if you are very fussy <laughs> and you kind of can't like leave things alone, you want to just be sure that you don't kind of overwork that crackle text too much. So you don't want to take that, that last layer of paint and just keep going over and over and over that same spot because what that will do is it will kind of pull up the crackle text and it will, you know, not allow it to work quite as well as if you, like you saw me do, I just kind of like laid that paint on there really fast and just let it do its thing. So that's, those are kind of the, cautions with crackle text now once this dries completely i'm gonna have like these little like pieces that are a little bumpy 
So you can use that to your advantage. You could do a couple different things. You could do a wash over the top of this. That would create like a whole nother layer of texture. And I do have a habit of doing that, layering techniques, one on top of each other, because it really creates a really deep type of an effect. Um, the other thing that I would probably suggest is just take a little bit of sandpaper, probably like a 220 grit, and just kind of sand lightly over it just to kind of smooth out some of that texture. It will still feel textured, but it won't feel pointy. Like it won't have edges to it. It'll just kind of smooth it out really nicely. Um, and then, like I said, if you wanted to, say, put another coat of Crackle Tex on top of this, let it dry, and put another color of paint over it to create a three-layer effect, you could definitely do that as well. And as you can see down here on this piece, um, where on the border where we had it, you can see the paint is starting to crackle here. And uh, you could either just leave it, or you can do the pull-off method and create just a little bit more texture in there, which is just really, really fun. So there you have it, Crackle Tex. Really fun and easy, a great way to create a beautiful effect. Um, do you want to take a field trip? Come with me really quick. Um, I'll show you another piece that we did here in the store. Same thing, we layered a base coat, French linen, then we put a coat of Crackle Tex on it, then we put a coat of old white, and then I did the wash. So if you take a look here at this piece um, on the corner here, this may be a little bit easier to see. So this was a French linen, that was the original base coat. We put Crackle Tex on, let that dry, and then we did old white on top. I did the pull off method, took some of this off, and then I washed it with Provence chalk paint. Now, if you're wondering, I've said a wash a couple times in this video, not video now, and if you're wondering what the heck a wash is, well, jump on YouTube. I have a great video on how to do a wash on a dresser. So until next time, I hope you'll visit us soon. Stop in one of our stores. If you're not lucky enough to live near us, then get on our website. You can buy all of our fabulous products at sweetpieces.com. Thanks, guys. See you soon.